illegal game room operation. Now four employees are facing charges. Local 2's Gianna Caserta has more from the game room off airline. An undercover sting led to the arrest of several people on charges of illegal gambling. We uh, raided with a search warrant and uh, went in and had uh, probably about 30 people in illegally gambling. And uh, so we've arrested uh, several people. Uh, they had a security guard that was, well, they had somebody in there with a gun that was posing as a security guard. So the case is still very fluid and we're still uh, conducting an investigation now. After weeks of undercover work, Precinct 1 deputies found the game room on airline and dipping was operating illegal machines and illegal payouts. When you go into these establishments, they give you, uh, you know, you put money in and you're supposed to get prizes and TVs and things of that nature. But when you, you actually win, you have somebody that actually comes over and pays you cash money for your winnings. Undercover deputies arrested four people and seized about 170 machines. Okay, we're going to seize the, the gaming machines themselves, the motherboards, and we're going to actually uh, take anything that was used in the illegal gaming operation. Rosen says they're cracking down on these illegal gaming operations because they breed other criminal activity. If I've decided to take a, a real big stance uh, against illegal gaming operations because again there's other criminal elements that happen. People are walking in and out of these establishments with money and uh, so your people that are committing robberies and uh, committing thefts all come to these facilities because they know people coming and going out may have a large sum of money on them. The four employees who were detained could face illegal gambling charges. In some cases, game rooms can be legal as long as the payouts are less than $5. Reporting in North Houston, I'm Gianna Caserta, KPRC, Local 2. This is the second game room raided by Precinct 1 deputies in the past month. Today,